my name is Donovan, and today we're going to be taking a look at a smartwatch, a budget-friendly smartwatch that is, from a company called Z-Blaze. This is the Z-Blaze Vibe 5. It is a smart fitness watch, and it's available right now for right around $35 uh, from a bunch of different retailers, um, but specifically we're going to be taking a look at uh, the deal from Cafago. So this is $35.14 is their price right now, uh, and if you've never heard of Cafago, they're a Chinese company uh, that primarily sells just tech items. So you can get like Xiaomi devices, also Z Blaze, Android smartwatches, things like that, uh, and uh, relatively budget friendly prices. So this is a $35 smartwatch, as I mentioned. And uh, it's kind of an interesting one because uh, it kind of falls somewhere in between a super cheap one and then also some of the nicer Android ones. So this one is definitely not running Android or anything like that. But we're going to go ahead and run through uh, the software on the device. So I'm um, just run through the uh, first of all, the faces here. So this is one face. Um, there's another one, more analog face there. Uh, another analog face, and it's actually the one that they have here on their box. And uh, then we have, let's do one more. And this one's more of a digital. And then this is the one that's going to show basically all your fitness information. So distance, calories, up there we have heart rate and steps. And you can see on the back we do have a heart rate sensor. We do also have completely removable bands, which is nice. And then you can see where it's going to charge up. So it comes with a uh, charger that just magnetizes there to uh, the back of the watch. And uh, that's pretty much it. So you can see it's going to fit just about any size wrist because it's pretty much holes all the way through. So no matter what your wrist size is, this one will fit. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what it looks like in comparison to a couple of other smartwatches. Um, so this is the Garmin Phoenix 5 Plus. And uh, you can see it's actually a little bit bigger than that one, but a whole lot less heavy. So this one you can see is made out of metal. This is a much more expensive watch. I think this one was like $750 when it first released. Um, but this one obviously is only $35. Um, and this one's a lot lighter because it's made completely out of plastic here. And then here it is next to another relatively larger watch. This is the Coros Vertex. And uh, another really expensive watch. This is more like $600. Uh, but either way, uh, this is a similar size to those smartwatches, um, but obviously with the price point, um, this one's not going to be able to do as much. But there are four buttons on the uh, watch itself. So you can see this one says power, this one says back, up, and down. Um, so this one's also going to be the select button. So we're going to go ahead and hit that. And like I mentioned, this one's going to cycle us through all of our different watch faces. As you can see there, this one's going to cycle us through our different applications. So we have step counter there. We have our calorie counter. We have a distance counter. And then again, all these are showing up on the main watch face if you use that one. Uh, we have a sleep. Uh, and then here we can check out our messages. So I can go in here and you can see what they look like. So it looks like I got a Facebook notification there for some birthdays and I can scroll through them. So um, somebody accepted a friend request and then uh, a Twitter notification there as well. And then if I want to go back, I can just go ahead and hit that back button and that's going to take us back into our various uh, widgets that we have here and then we can go into sport so we'll go ahead and take a look at what sports that's kind of hard to see here but um, right up here you can see it says running so that would be if I want to select running so when I start it's going to go ahead and start down here and you can see it's just going to be a clock and uh, then we have what does it say here uh, beats per minute and step counter and you can see that it's automatically going to turn the heart rate sensor on while we're running and uh, then we'll go ahead and stop it with the power button as well and then back if we want to get out of there. Um, so now let's go ahead and take a look at the different sports. We have running, we have walking, we have climbing, we have riding, ping pong, uh, basketball, badminton, football, and that's it. So that's all of the sports that we have available. Now, uh, just to let you know, this does not have GPS or anything like that. So um, it's basically just using accelerometers to determine and gyroscopes to determine uh, how many steps you're taking. And then also it's going to use your heart rate to determine how many calories you've burned. Um, so it's not the most scientific, um, but, you know, it's going to, you know, at least give you a decent ballpark of where you're at in terms of uh, your fitness that you're doing. So that is all the widgets. Um, if I go back in here, we'll go ahead and scroll down from the bottom so we can power it off here and we can also find our phone. So I actually have it connected right over here to this phone so you can see, maybe you could probably hear it hopefully. All right, so now we're gonna go over here and basically just touch something and once you do that, it's actually going to get out of there. All right, so if you want to use the phone, or sorry, the watch, you're gonna use it with this app right here called Wear Health. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and go into that, and you can see it is connected up to uh, me, and you can set um, step counting targets. You can also set up, a, 
uh, uh, set up a sleep target. Um, we can go into device management. And you can see this is where we're going to set up any of the device specific things. So continuous heart rate, we can turn that on or off. We can uh, make it um, when we lift up our wrist. So if I flip my wrist, it should turn on just like that. That worked perfectly. Uh, we have call reminder, SMS reminder, and we can turn on do not disturb here. We also have a screensaver setting, which is kind of interesting because it actually can use a picture from your phone as a screensaver, which is kind of cool. And then it'll just show the time in the background like you can see there. Um, but obviously that's gonna burn through a ton of batteries. So I haven't been using that uh, nearly as much. We have some other reminder options. So here are, uh, all the different applications you can use uh, to remind you. Um, you can see it's not every app, so not every app on your phone is going to work with this necessarily. And then we also have some non-app reminders here like taking medicine, uh, a meeting, sedentary reminder which is going to, if you sit down for too long, it's going to let you know that you need to get up and walk. And then we have a drink reminder as well. And uh, down here we can adjust our time format unit and that's pretty much it right there. So let's go ahead and get out of that. Uh, we have our find device. We can also shake for a snapshot as well and then just some operating instructions. So that's pretty much it on the mind part. We can uh, connect up with some friends. So if you have some friends that are also using uh, a similar application. So if they're using Wear Health with whatever watch they have, then they can also, you can connect up with them for that. Um, this is where you'd actually use GPS. So if you actually want to use GPS, uh, with the watch, you're going to have to use your phone with you. So uh, it does have connected GPS, but of course you're going to have to have your phone as you can see right here with you. And then the last thing is uh, it's just going to show you your activity for today. So obviously I haven't been wearing it today um, because I've been testing out a couple of other watches. So I just wanted to go ahead and show you guys what all this watch is capable of doing. I will be uh, testing it out on my own wrist um, and then also uh, just testing out that battery life. So this is IP67 water resistant. So so uh, you can get it wet, you can take it out in the rain, uh, but I wouldn't go swimming with it because at that rating, uh, it's not really meant to be submerged in water uh, for a period of time. So anyways, quick look at the Z-Blaze Vibe 5. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Is this a watch that you may be considering picking up or are you going for something more expensive uh, because maybe you are a super serious runner and uh, you need something more like this. But anyways, thanks for watching. I hope this video has been helpful for you and I will see you all in the next one. Peace. Thank you.